as more things begin to move around, as the velocity of money, as the velocity of tokens, as the amount of information that becomes available on blockchain systems, as more chains become connected and value and transactions and the commands interact between chains, the movement of value, the movement of information, the movement of commands across more and more systems, generally in an efficient, reliable, secure way, generally predates large explosions in what applications can do. And large mm. explosions in what applications can do then makes an industry valuable. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Veteran trader Peter L. Brandt says Dogecoin bear market has ended. This is called a bear channel, the upside violation of which has ended the bear market that began at the May 2021 high for Doge. Take a look at the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart. Is the ETH Bitcoin ratio the single most bullish major asset price chart in the world? This might well be. Hit the like button. My name is Aaron. You're back at Altcoin Daily. You subscribe for daily videos, keeping you informed on the entire cryptocurrency market. If you have yet to do so, make sure you check out our two videos from the last two days. Today's video, a continuation of crypto is about to explode. Here's why. A continuation of Elon Musk has top secret plans for Dogecoin in 2023. Of course, the opening clip was none other than Chainlink co-founder Sergey Nazarov talking about as cryptocurrency continues to build, integrate, become interoperable as more and more information gets exchanged. Cryptocurrency altcoins are about to explode. Yet so many people seem just so clueless on where cryptocurrency is at today. For instance, Cardano. If Cardano is a ghost chain, like so many think it is, explain this. Transactions up for the month, every month. Native tokens up every month. Wallets up, delegated wallets up, smart contracts up, policies up, Plutus scripts up. So veteran trader Peter Brandt says Dogecoin bear market has ended. Why is this important? This is important because Dogecoin has a historic correlation with Bitcoin where a Dogecoin pump has preceded every crypto bull cycle, every Bitcoin bull cycle, Dogecoin pumped first. Dogecoin pumps in every single bull cycle, usually at the beginning, sometimes at the end. So you got to ask yourself, Bitcoin at 20K, Ethereum at 1.5K, cryptocurrency market where it is, does this seem like the end of a crypto bull cycle or maybe more towards the very beginning? Yes, I understand that the reason Dogecoin is pumping is because of extraordinary circumstances, Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter and his plans for Dogecoin. Again, if you have yet to watch this video, check it out. And again, watch this video from two days ago. Today's video is a continuation of this. So Dogecoin is pumping just because people are expecting it to be integrated with Twitter. This is an outrageous circumstance, correct? Maybe. Just like when Elon Musk bought Bitcoin and started talking about Dogecoin and working with developers in the beginning of 2021, that was an amazing circumstance and that started, kicked off the 2021 bull market. Dogecoin's correlation with Bitcoin is something that if you've been in crypto as long as we have or anybody who's been in crypto a long time, you know, we know Dogecoin pumps in the beginning of every single bull cycle. Now, don't make this mistake. A common mistake made by novice and wannabe traders is assuming that an end to a bear phase of a market is automatically a signal that a bull market has begun. This assumption is often wrong. What we're talking about, though, is an end to this trend and the beginning of a new trend. And of course, the reason for this video today is not just because of Dogecoin. Like I said, is the ETH Bitcoin ratio, the single most bullish major asset price chart in the world, where Ethereum has been gaining against Bitcoin and looks like it's about to break out. Well, let's talk about Ethereum. Let's talk about altcoins. There has only been 2,196 ETH, about 3.4 million, issued since ETH merged to proof of stake. Now, under proof of work, there would have been about 500,000 or about 900 million worth of ETH issued. So that's a 99.6% reduction in ETH issuance in only six weeks. Supply issuance is down. Supply versus demand here bullish. So people look at this and of course one of the first big questions is will Ethereum flip Bitcoin? 
And that's kind of an arbitrary thing. You tell me below if you think Ethereum will ever flip Bitcoin or why it matters. But let me show you this. The real flippening has already happened. L2s now regularly execute more transactions than L1 Ethereum. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We drop one video keeping you informed on the entire cryptocurrency market every day. If you get value in our daily videos, do me a favor, give this video a like. Do you understand why altcoins are about to explode? Because altcoins today are so much further than they ever have been ever. Primo altcoins, the blue chips, started out on mostly Ethereum. Well, today, these Primo altcoins are still on Ethereum, all over Ethereum layer twos, the L2 flippening, and also integrated on alternative layer ones. That's why I brought up Cardano earlier. Yes, Ethereum is the Primo L1, but it's not the only one. But it is the Primo number one, make no mistake about that. Ethereum coders are the highest paid in the tech industry for 2022 with an average salary of 151,000 per year. It's good to be in crypto, it's great to be in ETH. It's good and great to be in crypto and ETH. So Ethereum is busting out, whether we're talking about versus USD or versus Bitcoin, like we showed you before. Ethereum looks set to rise past a descending trend line characterizing the 12 month bear market, thanks to a more favorable supply demand balance brought about by the Ethereum merge in September. Again, that doesn't mean up only. In fact, there might be one major dip before we start really grinding up. But things in crypto, developments, integrations, adoption is happening. We show you this on a daily basis on this channel. Understand that Bitcoin cannot be stopped anymore. It's past the point of being stopped. And this was apparent in 2015. Watch this video. Do you have any concerns about a large nation state that has um, interest in just actively destroying Bitcoin to make their own you know, super rigs and uh, design chips and just throw hundreds of millions or billions of dollars to intentionally disrupt the blockchain. Yeah, I, I don't worry about that at all. Um, this cannot be done with Bitcoin anymore. This is something that can only be done with nascent altcoins. Uh, Bitcoin has achieved a, a level of computing that uh, no single nation state can, uh, can overthrow it through computation alone. Uh, the effort to do so would require a massive covert operation of chip fabrication, uh, then the coordinated assault that would give them dominance over the next block for 10 minutes until we kick those bastards off the network, uh, rework the protocol around them, they would be revealed, they would have lost a billion dollars doing this, and all they got to do was one double spend. <laughs> Now here's the thing, long before we get to that point, they figure out that if they just let this stuff run, they can actually get some Bitcoin <laughs> as a reward, because the incentive structure actually works. And so I'm not worried about that. And a lot of people are watching the blockchain. And as I said before, what are they going to do? So they take over and they fork the blockchain and they go somewhere, right? They've created an alternative blockchain. Great. What are we going to do? Who's going to join the NSA blockchain? <laughs> Anybody want to jump on Fedcoin? <laughs> so we're all going to stay on the old fork. Difficulty will go down. It will get more profitable for the miners who stayed behind, and we'll carry on with our coin and they can go mine whatever the hell they want on their alternative blockchain. They achieve nothing. They can't make protocol changes because, we, as I said, five constituencies in consensus, and it would take a billion dollars to pull the most ridiculous Keystone Cops failure in history. <laughs> Plus, this would actually require government that can do IT. <laughs> so, has Bitcoin bottomed? Will Bitcoin be repeating itself like shown here? Is there a major alt season ahead? Let me know in the comments below. I think a major bull rally is coming for altcoins too. Whether we have one final shakeout, that's certainly a possibility. And this is something we will keep you updated on on this channel. Subscribe to our channel right now and feel free to watch any of these other two videos appearing on the screen. See you tomorrow, my friends.